Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Reality Is, where words do come to life. Well, I got word um, not too long ago that there is an inmate that will be standing before Judge Lynn. And Judge Lynn is the same judge that throw everything at Jesse Smollett. Um, and I think he's a race, he's very racist, um, but he's associate judge and he's not elected. He is appointed by the elected judges. And it is my understanding that to be appointed by the elected judges, you have to go around and ask them to vote for you to be appointed. And so as I was having this conversation with this individual who's going before Judge Lynn, um, the associate judge who was not elected but appointed by other judge, I started to think the way he handled the Jesse Smollett case was to create a name for himself. Not looking at the charge that it was a minor charge and looking at the system that one white lady can go in and open up a case which that already defines that this system is uh discriminative um that one person going in and reopen a case and then all of a sudden you have this white lawyer firm who wants to step up and say it's pro bono, but we know somebody paid for it. But then in your sentencing, you take this in take Jesse Smollett into custody that he didn't harm anybody. Most of the harm was to himself and his career. And then you try to put the hammer down and make yourself look good and put a, you know, give yourself a name tag like you did all this and you end up with mud on your face, um, not being fair, like you all take an oath of office to do, to look at all the evidence and not try to create a name for yourself because that's what it was. You had newspaper there and, and, and everything. And it even came down to a point where he had stepped and said that he was not suicidal so people can know it was not an accident if something was to happen to him. So here we come back again to Judge Lynn um, that you're trying to put the hammer down. But then I thought about this thing a little bit further. If associate judges have to go to the elected judges to be appointed, that means that they're appointing judges who have the same mindset as they do. If they're racist, then they want that judge, that associate judge to be a racist too discrimination. They want that person to have the same mindset as they do. So that's why they um, appoint those judges like Judge Lynn. So whoever the judges were to appoint Judge Lynn, and you need to go get your hair washed and get it cut. Um, But you look like a slob. Whoever appointed Judge Lynn has the same mentality. It's not about Right and wrong is not about looking at evidence, it's not about being fair, it's not about reforming, it's not about looking at the whole scenario of the case. But right now, we're living in a time, it's about making a name for yourself, whether it's good or bad. And right now, there is no respect for the office in the seat of a judge because you all have tainted it so bad all the way up to the Supreme Court. It's been tainted. So we say that the law should be fair. We say we say we should live by the laws of the land. We say that that you're innocent until proven guilty, but that's a lie. That is a whole bold face lie. Now you are guilty 
guilty and you have to fight for your innocence, especially black people, especially black people. You want to give Jesse Smollett 180 days in prison. And then I thought about this thing. It just marinated my spirit. We can find witnesses that live in other states and bring them back to clear up a case to make the white people look good that we then called up another black person and we then took them off solid foundation and throw them in the bottom of the boat chained up that's what we didn't do now if a white person had did that it wouldn't have been no news media it wouldn't have been none of that they went home so it makes me question and it lets me know for a fact that our judges are corrupt it lets me know for a fact that our judges are not fair. It lets me know for a fact that our judges are not transparent and they are not following oath of office and they're sitting in the seat to make a name for themselves, irregardless how they do it. They don't care about what's right or wrong, but they do care about the color of the skin. Now, is it all judges? No, it's not all judges, but it's more percentage of judges that don't care and just sentence individuals without getting all the evidence or looking at the case totally. And they stall right along with the state's attorney office. So it lets me know that the judges and the state's attorney's office works together in cahoots to trap, to set up these individuals who's going before these judges and these individuals who's sitting in these prisons who have not been to trial. And they're just sitting there. It also lets me know that you misuse and you abuse your power and your authority to make yourselves look good. That's been proven. That's been shown. We see it. We see it. I've talked to too many people and I understand. And this gentleman is about to go before Judge Lynn again. And we don't want to reform. We don't want to see people change. We want to keep them tied to their past. The black people you do. The white people, they can get out. They can lie, steal, cheat, rape, misuse, abuse, and y'all put their ass in the Supreme Court seat, put them back in the mirror seat or an alderman seat. It doesn't matter. So what's the, what makes your crime any better than black or brown? Crime is crime. And if we supposed to be fair and justice is not supposed to be blind, then the scales of justice should be balanced out. But it's not. See, we are up here on the rector scale of being locked up and y'all down here at the bottom. So why do we have constitutional laws? Why do we have human rights? Why do we have um, rights, period? Because all of our rights has been violated, discarded, ignored, stepped on, misused and abused for 400 plus years. We ain't got no win, none whatsoever. We got a bunch of assholes sitting in rows with a gavel that's destroying people's lives intentionally and nobody but nobody sees anything wrong with that picture and it's a whole bunch of things wrong with that picture no republicans see nothing wrong no democrat the president the vice president no mayor no governor not even state's attorney's office don't see nothing wrong Breonna Taylor, the black man who's state's attorney he didn't see nothing wrong what the police did outside took a life they didn't have no business taking his black ignorant ass but then you get your lips tooted like these white folks give two cents about you. And they don't. Look at OJ. Married to a white woman. But they didn't give a damn about him. Sent his ass up the river. Irregardless to who he was, what color the woman he was married to. Clarence Thomas, they don't give a damn about you neither. But you just another Negro that they use. 
for some stupid stuff. And somebody said they your your, your mama should have swallowed you. And I'm sure that she, that I would agree with that. She should have swallowed you. It's sad that we supposed to live in a country where you're supposed to live a better quality of life. That you're supposed to live with choices. You're supposed to live with fairness. And that's not the case. We have police officers that's high ranking that then set up people that's in jail, that was in there for years, that should not have been set up. And a lot of their asses should have been locked up too, the ones that didn't die out. But they're not. People at the insurrection of the Capitol, we're still listening, waiting for some hammers to go down on their heads. And it has not. Not as of yet. So you all talk out of both sides of your mouth. And this system is past flawed. It's past broken. It's even beyond damaged. It is horrible. It is a horrific system that is heartless, cruel, cold, and calculating. And the calculation is a calculation of a higher percentage of black and brown that is locked behind those walls. Now, you want to talk about injustices? wrongful convictions, excessive sentencing, and no accountability. Talk about that. And every organization, every individual that represents prison reform, y'all ass need to be screaming to the top of your lungs. And if it hasn't hit your front door, you better be careful because potentially it can. And if you think color is not a factor, I let you know it is. I'll let you know it is. It's called modern day slavery. They change the bottom of the ships where they throw, let them piss and shit at the bottom, chain together, and they throw them slop down and eat to prison bars and small confinement rooms where they put slop on the trays. And they trade the ship for one piece with numbers on it. So they're no longer individuals by first and last name. They are now numbers. Like they don't, they're not human beings. And this is what this country has come to. And you asses get up and, 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 and stand before your people and talk that yin yang and we supposed to believe anything you say. No, nope. you'll help people in other countries while people are dying and suffering over here. They're dying in those prison walls. A lot of them are innocent. They should have been out of there a long time ago. If y'all can let Cal Rittenhouse ass walk, and matter of fact, because you let Cal Rittenhouse walk, all these crazy ass people have been rising up. Y'all didn't kill the boy who went to the Highland Park and shot them people. Why y'all didn't take him down and shoot him 16 times? Y'all didn't do that? See, we're we're crazy. This is crazy. This was backwards as hell. And y'all asses don't see nothing wrong with this. Nobody see nothing wrong with this. Nobody. At least the white, some of the white folks don't. Y'all think this shit is okay. And I can't understand for the life of me how you think it is okay because it's not. It is totally unacceptable. And for fellow judges to know that you have crooked judges and they're doing what they're doing, shame on you all for not speaking up and having their ass pushed out of the seat. They don't need to sit in the seat. They're not representing the oath of office. As a matter of fact, maybe we should throw the oath of office and y'all need to stop putting your hands on the Bible because the Bible said thou should not lie, thou should not steal, thou should not kill. You lie on people, you steal individual lives, and you kill their character. The white folks is protected. And I'll say it again till Jesus return. Take that damn flag down. Strip it of the colors and the stars and the stripes and leave that shit white. Because ain't nothing about this country diverse. Ain't nothing about this country fair. Ain't nothing about this country transparent. Nothing. From 50 states, from state to state, in every state, we've had... We've gotten phone calls from individuals inside the walls talking about the inhumane treatment that they're receiving. 
and you all think it's okay. Y'all carry your ass in bed and get up like it ain't nothing. Heartless, cruel individuals. And most of y'all is Republicans. you Ted Cruz, asshole. Yeah. And then the Democrats, y'all such wuss. Y'all ain't got no backbone. None. Because you don't know how to push back. So a lot of the situation that we're dealing with, people are at the mercy because they're tired of fighting. And then their family members are fading. They're dwelling away behind those walls. And y'all don't see nothing wrong with it. Y'all can protect the LGBTQ+. Plus. You can protect Asian. You can send money to Ukraine. But we got a war going on here inside these prisons. Homeless people on the street, unemployed. And y'all got money to send to other countries. Man, jump off the highest mountain to the lowest valley and bust y'all own heads wide open. Because this right here is ridiculous. Totally ridiculous. And y'all need y'all asses whooped. Period. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe.